Damn. There we go. Hey, here I am. <laughs> Almost on time. Richard, come in. Why does she like a Richard? So, yes, there you are. Good to see you. You too. <laughs> I imagined our greeting to be a little more euphoric. You know, with kisses and hugs and all that. What? Euphoric. Yeah. Wow. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Me too. <laughs> hmm. Wow, we're just getting started. Please, don't. <laughs> Please don't. How was your trip? Okay. You have pretty intense neighbors. <laughs> oh? Who did you meet? Hopefully not Dyke. Unshaven guy with a hoodie in his mid-fifties? Uh, yeah, that's Dyke. Be careful around him. He sells information. You know, the cops, trashy mags, anyone willing to pay. Oh, great. He recognized me. He also knew I was coming here. Are you worried because of Tracy, that she'll find out where you are? No, no. Feeling guilty? Did you want to leave again? <sighs> yeah, Richard. If you're worried, then go. I, I don't want to spend an evening with a guy that isn't even really here. Uh, nonsense. Of course I want to be here. Fine. Just one more thing. You have to call home, right? I have to. My kid. I would have done it out on the street, but that dyke... It's okay. I understand. Wow. I'd also want you to call me. Should I do it outside? You can stay here. I'll go to the bathroom. Don't... Don't you dare watch me in the bathroom, Richard. Hey, it's me. Uh, listen, I'm in a bit of a hurry, just calling to say that I arrived well. Yeah, that's all okay. It's a nice hotel. No, no, I'm staying in. Guess I'll be sleeping soon. I'm pretty wiped. Is James doing fine? Give him a kiss for me. Imagine how that person, oh, Lydia, feels. Hypocrite. I gotta run. Yes, yes, of course. I love you too. Hmm. Damn it. So, you done? Yeah. Were you listening? Yeah, I'll admit it. At the volume you were talking at? Yeah. I told you I would have gone outside. You wanted to speak with your son. I did. So what? Tracy is his mother. I love you too. Great. I know. I'm sorry. I need another drink. What did you expect me to say when I'm talking to my family as... As what? A cheater? As a father. <laughs> well, this got off to a great start. Oh Come yeah, on. dump it on me. Let's open a bottle. Why am I inserting myself into the game? I I'm not. I'm not want Lydia. To apologize. For what? I would have reacted the same way. It's me who's the. Well, you know. The jerk. Exactly. You're not. It's impossible to change your life without hurting somebody. It's always hard. I don't want. Easier than uh, you, you know? think. I know. Actually. I'm just jealous. I wish I had a kid. Hmm. You? Do you want more kids? I don't know. Maybe it would have been better if Tracy and I had had no kids. Don't look at me like that. I know how it sounds. James's birth, everything that happened around that time. So horrible. Yeah, I can get that. The accident, Tracy's scar. Never really March 6, 3 p.m. Sometimes I think he's not even really my son. As if she just inserted him into my life. My son. My boy. Excuse me? 
That he's, really does sound He awful. sounds some he says some pretty horrendous Jesus shit. No. God no. God no. But maybe he senses it. Ooh, glitchy on the twitchy. What the hell was that? Hi, Betty. Come with me, little robot. John. Oh, damn. Achievement unlocked. This is insane. Yeah, that, that doll sequence. That was... That was a pretty intense moment in gaming history. Yeah, okay. So this guy... Obviously he's talking to a robot. He's involved with Dr. Kurtz. And I think it was... Yeah. Her. She's not really an artist. She's like intimately involved with this Kurtz guy. And I think that there was something about that. There was when I first looked it up, but... Now, the, the data is not showing. So I'm on sick leave from my job at the moment. Like, wouldn't that be nice? Having paid sick leave from your job. Just like, basically being gifted a two week or so holiday. Obviously, it could look bad on your resume, depending. But it's like a two week holiday. Aid. You do anything you want. Fuck, I'd love that. But as it is, in a couple of hours, I gotta go to sleep and then get up for Monday morning. Ooh, he's pensive. Okay. I'm thinking, let's go back to Richard. Let's go back to Richard. Richard's been up to some shit. Oh, it wants me to switch? Oh, wait, wait. Okay. What? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Yeah, Simon hates me now. Maybe I should, uh... Cozy up to, to Simon a bit more. But I feel like the robots are going to kill me, so... These damn robots. Oh, flying! What up, dude? I'm so late, but I'm still on time. Yes, yes you are. Let me give you a quick shout. Well, not, not a quick shout, a quick cheer. How do I do this? There we go. Let's go back here. There we go. Chin chin. Chin chin. Yes, yeah, so you missed a very interesting sequence. Um, yeah. But it will be in the VODs. And eventually it will be up on YouTube. So... But yeah, very interesting sequence in this game that you missed. It's fine though, it's fine. I hope that you're well, uh, flying. From memory, you're, uh, you're a student, right? So you're studying up stuff. Your shirt is very interesting on the green screen. Yeah, like, um, bye. Let me just make it. And then if I do this, and if I do this, I go in here and I disable it. So yeah, it's a um, yellow top. Anyway, put the chroma, chroma key back on. And get back into the game. Yeah, I mean, um, it's not the best. I don't... I prefer not to have brand name stuff plastered all over the shirt. I just prefer colours. Uh, solids, I guess you call them. But, um... Yeah, I like I like the color of this shirt. It's uh, getting closer to winter weather, you know, so I thought, yeah, 
And if I didn't have this on, I'd actually be feeling a little bit cold now, so... It's not quite weather for, um... You know, long pants and, and uh, shoes on, but, you know, it's getting closer and closer. Yeah. Anyway, um... Like I said, I hope that you've been doing well. So the next bit here, I'm not quite sure how to proceed. This robot is following me. Don't like it. Let's go at him. It's me. How old is your son? Seven. Why? When's his birthday? When is your son's birthday? When's his birthday? February 14th? Oh, Valentine's Day. That from the cloud. That's James' birthday. February 14th is my son's birthday, Adam. <laughs> oh, that doesn't prove much, does it? Tell me, Richard. You contacted Lydia for your work, am I right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, for your work. Why? Just a thought. She talked about you. Okay. What did she say? That you were a famous journalist and whatnot. Oh, well, famous. But yeah, that's why she contacted me. How exactly does that relate to my son? Sorry, I was just curious. These simulations Interesting. He's, he was... So, Richard is saying that Adam is like his facsimile uploaded to like some sort of virtual reality network. Um, but after viewing um, the Lydia cutscene, Adam then goes back to um, Richard and he's, he's probing him for information. He's like teasing that he knows more than what he's sharing. But he, he is Richard. It's, it's very interesting, the back and forth. Very interesting. There's Simon. I really fucked around with Simon. I, I yanked his memory chip and everything. And, he, and Simon was like, oh, can I please have the memory chip back? And I'm like, no. You may not. But now I'm starting to feel like a bit of a dick. So I think... Uh, if I'm able to, I'm going to try to uh, return his memory mo module back. The thing is, I do feel like the, the presence of the robots is a little bit creepy. It's a little bit like, you know, they're, they're spying on me. Magical song. Did that trigger the... No. Still doesn't want to talk to me? No. He hates me. He hates your boy. Uh, I could sleep. I could look out the window. There's my boy's room. Got my boy gone. It's kind of weird, the setup, because there's no, like, door. There's a sliding sort of French door here. But it's not like that's ever closed. So where's the privacy at? Mozart. Yeah. There's some sort of, um, music, uh, music, <laughs> music being played. But there's also this. They endorsed the possible use of what? They endorsed the possible use. Oh. I thought I could change this. Well, I guess not. It's only news. I think in Adam's world, um, it can be changed to all different types of things. This is my wife's uh, fart chamber. Yes. Recharge. So. I can't make things because I'm missing ingredients. Um, yeah. Inventory. So, I do have this thing's memory thing, don't I? Anyway. I think the game wanted me to revert back to Adam, so I think that's probably best. Because <clears throat> I can't seem to progress the story any other way. Yeah, 
saw all this stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Um. Yeah, I could talk to Richard. Yeah. Amy, yeah, uh, I could talk to Amy again just to see what she has to say. Oh, there we go. It's me, Richard. Richard. Any progress? How did it go? I think that piece of data has been damaged. The scenes seem to be incomplete. Hmm. Did you see anything? Uh, a street, an apartment. There were two women. Two women? What did they look like? Did they have names? One was called uh, Lydia. Lydia. You know her, don't you? I know a Lydia, yes. What mm. else did you see? Your wife, Richard. Tracy? Yeah, what about her? How is your relationship? What do you mean? We're married. Do you get along? Sure. I mean, of you have sexual have intercourse with your better half? Normal. How regularly? She has a scar on her face, correct? Ah, that's where this is going. Yeah, domestic violence. Yep, she does. As I told you, we had an accident. The scar is pretty bad for her. And for you? What do you mean for me? I feel sorry for her. I don't have the scar. I'm her husband. I always supported her. Can you uh, tell me anything about this woman? Where she's coming from, I mean. Her past. No, no idea. Okay. Is there a problem? No, not at all. I, I just have a feeling. I like how uh, Adam is putting Richard in the hot seat. And Richard can't do anything about it because he needs certain information that only Adam can provide. He's basically getting grilled on, like, what a shit human being he is. Tell me, Richard. You contacted Lydia for your work, am I right? Yeah, exactly. Why? Just a thought. She talked about you. Okay. What did she say? That you were a famous journalist and whatnot. Oh, well, famous. But yeah, that's why she contacted me. Is there a problem? No, not at all. I, I just have a feeling. This is a deja vu conversation. If my world isn't real, how do you know so much about it? That's not important. I want to know. <sighs> sure. I'm in contact with some hackers. Mm. Hacker? Uh-huh. And what do they want? Their leader, Jeff. Uploaded one of his people to where you are. A his name is Jeff. Charlie. They want you to find him, this Charlie. They've lost contact with him. Charlie. Charlie. No, not quite. Charlie, they want to find Charlie, the server where your Charlie. city is stored. They're planning to set off bombs. Destroy City 5. No. <laughs> okay, Richard. I'm ending the call. <laughs> Completely shut him down. Okay, Richard, that's enough for today. Thanks, you've been great. Um, I gotta look for some more uh, data fragment. Send fragment? Can I? Oh, I guess so. I thought I had already sent him. Okay. This must be the one from Sykes? Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Object sent successfully. Hmm. Maybe I didn't do this one. Geolocation confidential. According to these entries, it could be some kind of laboratory. Alright, let's go delve into another scene. Did I have it? Yep. Damn. Damn. That's there. There it is. The media this looks like a 
lawnmower man a bit. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. Maybe now I can interact with oh Jeff Kosolski. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Jeff. I'm busy. What do you want? I want to talk about our agreement. What's there to talk about? Did something change? Yes, Richard. I'm afraid something has. The situation has gotten more intense. Okay. You don't say. Richard, you know Red One, the colony. You know Mars, our future, last haven of mankind. My family's on Mars. Uh, no, no. They're not on Mars. How do I know? Because this is what the colony really looks like. Not a lot of future, is there? The entire Red One project's a fraud. A cover-up for something far bigger. Oh, shit. How... What? Those people what? get themselves scammed what? on Mars. We believe that sooner or later, they all end up in City 5. Get your scans to Mars. It's crazy. Why is Kurtz doing all this? It's crazy. A virtual world needs data. A lot of data. Just think of the nano scan cells. People are getting scammed, like sheep. DNA, brain structures. They're hoping for a ticket to Mars, but instead... Surely you're not just calling to show me some slideshows. What do you want from me? We need to adjust our strategy. Mm. That's where you come in. I don't get it. We're running out of time, Richard. It's too late for an undercover operation. Breakpoint must go into open conflict. It's time for an uprising. You mean a civil war? Sorry, do that without me. Oh, no. Y you don't get out that easy, Richard. The uprising needs a voice. What do you want? Access to your account at The Voice. What for? The Breakpoint Manifesto. On The Voice in 48 hours. Ooh. With my account? You must be crazy. What's in the manifesto? Nothing but the truth. I want to see it. I'll play it for you. All right. Break the machine. Uh -oh. A digital fascism has won power over our lives. It dreams of a new humanity, a humanity without humans. It dreams of a new world, a world devoid of reality. Yep, keep walking, a Simon. World without us. Keep walking, Simon. You don't hear this shit. They promised that we would become one with the machines, the world spirit, the universe. They promised that we would become immortal. They promised to make gods of us. Transhumanism. But they did not mean us. Oh they shit. Themselves. Uh oh. They wanted to deify themselves at the price of our extinction. Breakpoint is leading the fight for biological humanity. We will not accept that we are replaced by AIs. We will not allow the guilty to close themselves off in gated communities. In virtual homelands, far away from the destruction zones they have left for us. Our bombing campaign has begun. Oh shit. Humanity is rising up. Rise up. If you are with us, fight with us. Imagine just like being told that, like that is the situation, A or B, fight or die. Yep, someone's just like, no, I didn't hear shit. I didn't hear shit. You're insane. Do you think so? Aren't we writing exactly the same as you? I never tried to start a war. It's That's true. true. That was your biggest mistake. We don't just use words, Richard. We take action. Sorry. Without me, I'm not a murderer. No. You're a coward. However, you misjudge your situation. You can thank that would us be for crazy. you're alive. If you don't cooperate, our deal is over. Think about it. I'll call you. Think Wait. About it. What? What if they uploaded my family, just like they've uploaded me? Let's hope not, Richard. You're fucking Simon stomping around out there. Uh oh. What's wrong, Simon? You looking for something? Looking? No. Why do you ask? You're pacing up and down the place. Yes, you are. Am I? I did not realize. I apologize, sir. You heard the cloud call, right? Of course you did. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I could not avoid it. I know, of course, that you did not want me to. Hey, it happened. 
And? What do you think? I have too little information to make a judgment. I also have no right to make one. I'm still interested. As far as I understood, you talked with an extremist. Mm -hmm. Yes. You are being blackmailed. Yes, exactly. Yes. Will you give in, sir? I need these people. Mm hmm I understand. Nope. Lady Black. Unknown has sent you new data to your cloud hub. It's the big fat dick All pig. Alright. So who do we betray this time? Hmm. 2045. Any What's this now? A lab. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm next. Are you going to touch me? Are you going to touch me? Oh. Ooh. Testing speech module. Congratulations on purchasing this base 5 Android. Preparing configuration. Simon. Configuration complete. Speech module testing successful. So, my friend, now you can speak. Mm -hmm. Look at me and say good day. Akayo. Good evening, Jeff. I'm Simon, your base five home assistant. How may I help you? Simon, did you make it? Section one, did you? Yes, sir. And you have the data? Yes, sir. Ah, oh, you're the best. Section one. Oh. So, Jeff, how's it going? Good day, Dr. Kurtz. A base five? You really still want to set it up? It's the last one. You should rather take care of the new ones. There's plenty to do. I know. Look at him, though. Poor guy. You're overthinking things, Jeff. His wheelchair's pretty sweet. A news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. In Berlin... The trial of Richard Nolan and Walter O'Neill has ended today in the Central Court. Really? Both investigative reporters had been accused of inciting the sabotage of household androids. Mm -hmm. Multiple bots had been attacked as a result. The trial against O'Neill was abandoned as he was considered to be mentally unfit for trial. The uh -huh. court also abandoned the case against Nolan, although he was ordered to pay costs. Wow. Trial abandoned. Unbelievable what these Luddites get away with. Yeah, it's a dangerous life as a bot. Remember that, buddy. I do not understand, sir. <laughs> you said you gotta keep an eye on those Luddites out there. If you ever get out, of course. That's fucking Steve Jobs. That's Steve Jobs, isn't it? Uh, inquiry sir, Luddites. I require contextual information. What are Luddites? <laughs> it's all right, my boy. My boy. Doctor, don't be like that with what? I was the one who designed him. He belongs to me. Oh. Let's be negative. Let's push. Let's push the uh, the boundaries here. That is not correct, sir. I still have not been assigned an owner. <laughs> Why should you? Your type is being replaced. I have to go. I have things to do. Don't spend too much time on that thing. I won't, doctor. And Jeff. Yes. I'm glad we can see past our differences. I know. You had your doubts, but... Sure. We're building a lifeboat. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff knows. Jeff's gonna foil your plans, Dr. Kurtz. Okay, I'm gonna switch your memory module now. Thank you, sir. Yeah, nod, nod. Voila. Voila. Sir? You reformatted the module. My farewell present to you. A tiny remnant of free will. Use it well. Oh, cheers, Where dude. am I going? The storage. I understand. For how long will I be there? Well, forever. No idea until someone buys you. Okay, I have to get on. Take care. You too, sir. Be careful of the Luddites. <sighs> okay, Simon, I will. Time to go. Uh, 
Time to go to the forever box where we sleep forever. Oh, I like how dark it is. This gives me like Terminator vibes. Oh shit, this does give me Terminator vibes. What is that? Yo. This is almost like a movie. Or yes, it is true. This is um this shares very strong uh, resemblances to Detroit Become Human. I wonder if it came out around the same time. That could be why this was overshadowed a bit. If the sun that was is true. rising outside. 